is going on guys? I'm having a great day. This is gonna be an exciting series. If y'all saw in the last video, I am in Tennessee right now. My boy Dylan's with me. He invited me to go to Tennessee with them. Dylan's family lives in an awesome spot, literally in the middle of nowhere, no neighbors. They have acres upon acres of land. When he told me that, we decided to do something different on my channel that I haven't done yet. So we're just gonna knock it off with a banger. If y'all saw the drive down here, at the beginning of this video, was so pretty, nothing but mountains. There's no snow up here right now. We just got slammed with seven inches in North Carolina, but we're just gonna jump into this video, y'all. We're in a beautiful spot. We're gonna be here for, what, five days? Yep, four or five days. I haven't done this on my channel yet, y'all, and I think it's gonna be pretty cool. So the first video we're gonna do here is that me and Dylan are right now in the middle of the woods. We have our gun, y'all, because there's just some insane wildlife out here. Dylan, explain to what you guys have seen. So right now we're walking up on one of my hunting spots. Uh, guys, I pretty much grew up here just coming down visiting my grandparents, so I know what's out here But right now we're gonna walk up to one of our spots. There's a good chance. We'll see a ton of deer It is deer season right now So we have I have the 270 in case we see a big buck or maybe even a doe Peter's got his 12 gauge in case we see any small game as far as squirrels uh, quail raccoon um, Rabbit it just depends. So I mean we could come up on absolutely anything. We're ready uh, I have the gun for big game. Peter's got the gun. He even has slugs in yeah, the shotgun. Yeah, I got slugs, y'all. If I see something, um, it's getting popped. There are bear. There's lots of bear out here in case for some reason we get in an issue with a bear. Uh, it's very unlikely, but never um, you never know. So we're going to go ahead and make the trek up to our spot. We're going to get our blind situated, and we'll be back to you guys. So Dylan just mentioned, y'all, we're going to be building a blind, and it's going to be a nice blind. I'm not going to put 20 minutes into this, so this might take us about an hour, two hours to make. We're gonna be cutting down limbs and trees using everything we have in the woods to make a cool blind. And then we're gonna be setting up in it. And then one of these mornings, y'all, we're gonna come out here at like six o'clock in the morning, maybe even earlier, and we're gonna hunt out of it. And that's the video where we might actually shoot maybe a deer or something pretty cool. But that's gonna be the video today. We're gonna to be literally hand making a blind. a blind out here. And it's just gonna be, it's gonna be a really good video, y'all. So stay tuned. We're about to walk up this hill and I hope y'all enjoy this video. Alright guys, we just hiked up probably about half a mile. There's a path down there where they're starting to clear out at for a power line. There should be some deer walking that trail in the mornings. The spot we're going to post up at is right here, y'all. We're going to make a blind from this tree to that tree right there. I'll show y'all the design I'm going to be thinking about doing for this, but first we got to start cutting down some trees, getting everything set up because building a blind isn't easy, y'all. If we're going to make it the way we want to, it's going to take some time. So, so I'm going to get y'all set up and we're going to start working on this. Alright guys, so the camera's set up. The first thing we're going to do is actually just clear out our little area just to make sure we, if we need a 360 shot, if we hear something behind us, we'll make sure that nothing's blocking the shot. So we're gonna clear some of this stuff out and then we're gonna start building our blind. All right, y'all, so everything is cleared out now. Now we're gonna have to start finding resources. How we're gonna do, I'm gonna explain to you what I'm gonna do to make this blind, and then the real work starts. All right, guys, so I just wanna explain to you what we're gonna do really quick. So these are the two main bases right here, these two trees. We're gonna be cutting down little saplings, pretty much like what Dylan just started doing right here. We'll cut those down. They don't have to be perfect measurement, y'all, but we're gonna place this up for the rope we're gonna be using. This You could've used paracord, y'all, but this is a super cheap line. It's just gonna be left out here in the woods, so you don't have to make it expensive this is 45 feet of just we have some different colors i wish i had a orange or brown but they didn't have that so we even have some pink but it's gonna work so pretty much we're gonna make a base on this tree and then we're gonna run it out stab two in the ground so it's pretty much that's the little square we're gonna be making and then from there we'll start framing the sides of it and then we're gonna start just cutting down leaves and other little brushes like this and start stacking it so it's gonna be a pretty good blind y'all but we got a lot of work to do so let's get to it All right guys, so as Dylan's cut more of those down, as he's throwing them to me, I'm gonna start making the frame so we can just kind of double team this. So I got y'all set up, enjoy the video. We got our second one. This is gonna be one of our main frames. All right y'all, Dylan's gonna hold this up on the frame of the tree. That's a good length right there. Just in case we gotta stand up just for a second just to rotate our shots. So when you're doing this y'all, you pretty much just wanna wrap it around a bunch of different times. That's how it's gonna hold in there pretty good. Tighten her down. All right, so now the base is up. She's gonna hold pretty good, ain't gonna go nowhere. Number one. All right, yeah, right now I have a time lapse rolling because 
I don't want to bore y'all. It's just it's a long process what we have to do. So time lapse is rolling. Enjoy the video. Once we start doing some different steps, I'll pick up this camera again. But hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> Is done. It's not the prettiest thing, but I can tell y'all what, she is sturdy, she ain't going nowhere. Just want to give you a little update, that's the base. Alright y'all, looks kind of raggedy, but it's just the way we tied the, them up, it's not going to be that big of a deal. It's not for show, it's just made to do what it needs to do, so. That's what we have so far. All three sides have two beams going across. That's where we're gonna be laying a lot of the stuff down that we wanna put in front of it. Now we, all we have to do left is just the roof. All right guys, so now we have a little bit of a roof. I just tied two sticks all the way across. So now we're gonna start throwing stuff on top to lay on it. But pretty much y'all, it's looking pretty good. It's not, like I said, it's nothing special. It's just something to sit in for the time that we're here. I think we're doing a pretty good job. Let's see how it turns out when we start getting some stuff on it. All right, y'all, now we're looking for stuff like this. Anything that has green on it, stuff that has long branches and leaves. There's a whole thing of it right here. So we're going to get to work really quick, start chopping some of the stuff down, start making the roof. Got her. All right, y'all, to give you guys an idea what we're going to be doing, we're going to put the stuff on that we just cut down, and then we're going to time-lapse the rest because we could get a lot, so we we'll start throwing our own. All right, y'all, so stuff like this, we just start laying on top. Stuff like that, y'all, we're just throwing stuff on top. We'll pack it down, then we'll start doing the sides, too, so roll the time-lapse. I don't know y'all, for what we've done, I think it looks pretty good, check it out. I mean, it's not the best y'all, but it's definitely something to work with. That's the back of it. Once we go in y'all, this is inside y'all. I mean, we're in here y'all, it's not bad. What'd you think, Dylan? Pretty good, we're gonna thicken up this one side just a little bit. Yeah. I mean, we don't want it too thick to the point where we can't see out of it, because we're gonna come hunt out of this tomorrow morning. We are gonna thicken it up just a little bit. All we gotta do now, man, is throw some leaves. Yeah, we're, we're about to do y'all. We're about to take a bunch of leaves and just throw it on top just to make it Blend in a little bit more, just get all the patches, but I think it's a hunting machine. What you think? Oh, yeah. So the whole point of this is A, to patch up some of the small holes, but also everything we cut down today was green. If there's just a big green cube in the middle of the woods, it doesn't look <laughs> natural. So all these dead leaves have been falling from the trees Throwing it on this kind of helps eliminate all the green, makes it look a little bit more natural. We're almost done, guys. Probably like 10 more minutes. All right, guys, so that's the last final product of what we're going to be doing out here. So this is the front, if you want to call it the front. Um, the reason I'm calling it the front is because, guys, I've, I've been here a lot. A lot of deer coming up and down through here. Behind us, there's a power line trail. And then down below us, there's another power line trail that runs way down there. So these deer, they come up and through here in the morning. Also, there's tons of pine trees around us, holds a lot of squirrel, and I've even shot a lot of rabbit out here, so we're going to call this the front just because of how open everything is over here. Um, this is our back side here. So one thing I want to explain to y'all, I didn't know this, like, but on the drive down here, like, we're in Tennessee right now, it's nothing but mountains. Like, we're on a mountain right now. Like, that's pretty insane to you. Like, we're actually hunting and built this blind on top of a mountain, I mean, literally, that side straight down that side straight down this whole other side right here y'all it's kind of a slope that's how we got up here so animals do come up here i mean there's squirrel nests all around us we've seen a couple squirrels out here already dylan shot rabbits seen deer i mean when they have this type of landscape them deer walk i mean all these animals adapt to what they have so i think we built it in a very good spot and i think we're gonna do pretty good in it all right guys i hope you all enjoyed this video like always i had a blast filming out here i hope you guys are gonna be joining these tennessee series we're gonna be here for another Three more days, four more days? Three more days. Three more days, like I said, the next video you're gonna see will us be hunting in this little blind. And the next video you guys are gonna see will be us hunting in this blind that we made today. So that's gonna be a great video. We don't know what we're gonna see out here, y'all. Like I said, there's bobcats. Like I said, y'all, there's just so much wildlife out here. You just don't know what you're gonna run into. So that's why we came with the guns today. We don't wanna get walked up on a bear or anything, but safety first, like always, but you have fun doing this video today? Oh yeah, hopefully we can get something. We're gonna be out here tomorrow morning. Yeah. Let's do it. Probably super early in the morning, y'all. We'll come out here when it's dark, so don't mind that type of filming light. It's just what we got to do to make it happen. But I give this, give this eight. What have we done? Out of ten. What do you think? 
three. Why three? Because I do it better. Nah, I'm just kidding. It, it's pretty good. I like it. It'll work. What we want is going to be perfect, y'all. But like I said, I hope you guys are enjoying these Tennessee videos. A couple more are going to be popping out. I really hope you guys enjoy this. Like I said, y'all, I really hope you guys are enjoying these videos. We're going to have a blast out here in Tennessee. If y'all like seeing me travel and film different stuff like this, just drop a comment down below like always. If you want to support this channel, make sure to hit the like and subscribe. But make sure to hit the little bell so you don't miss any notifications that I post. If y'all want to watch any of these videos right here, y'all, all you have to do is click on it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all thought about them. But once again, y'all, that's a wrap. We're going to end it right here. I appreciate it, y'all. <laughs>